Hey, young world. What's up, peoples? Hey, look. <laughs> Honestly, seeing a Metacritic game that scored a 68, that so many diehard gamers that aren't really fans of Xbox consider trash. Seeing that game beat the game of the generation, which is considered by many, all right, and God of War. And Detroit Become Human, which in its own right has gotten, you know, some accolades, you know what I'm saying, has been considered to be a very good story. To see a 68 Metacritic game in State of Decay 2 beat those two titles in May, it was very comical. And I get it, I get it. And Detroit Become Human's case, as my homie King's Blood Gaming pointed out in a, in a dope video he, he created and, and, and posted out there. It came out seven days after State of Decay 2. And it only had the same amount of time, seven days, to chart in May. With that said, <laughs> it's a 68 Metacritic game. And in the era of greatness, it should have had no chance whatsoever against Detroit, let alone God of War. Video games sell the best during release, hence God of War selling 3 million in just 5 days. However, taking an additional 7 days for it to bag another 2 million. So with that said time and time again, regardless of what the viewpoint of any Sony sympathizer was, you know what I'm saying? I was smacking that crap down on Twitter, man, because I just wanted something to laugh, man. It was just so comical to me. But now that we got all the chuckles out, we got all the chuckle huckling done, the Sony sympathizers, if we keep it in the buck, the Sony sympathizers did bring up a good point. And no, it's not a good point to explain Sony's big software L for the May MPDs, but rather a point that's something that Xbox console gamers should have concern about regarding this NPD. And that is, my friends, State of Decay 2 was also sold on PC. But before we get too deep into that, I need y'all to do me a huge favor if you can, please. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, please. You know what I'm saying? It helps your boy a lot. I appreciate all y'all and y'all and, and y'all support. You know what I'm saying? Due to y'all support. Your boy's uh, had his first uh, episode of the medicine hit at 500 my destiny joint I'm gonna leave that in the, in the links below but if you could can continue to do that I'd really appreciate it okay so let's get into this man. first and foremost problem number one regarding May MPDs PlayStation still sold the most consoles problem number two Xbox came in last place in console sales in May MPD problem number three Microsoft and Xbox with Phil and all his new regime henchmen are purely data driven. Hence why they gave that piss poor excuse. The reason why we're not dropping commercials because according to our data analytics, we don't see nobody watching TV no more. Okay? So upon seeing this, all right, you better have no doubt that their lackluster console support and marketing will continue. All right? And that leads us to problem number four, which is the big kit and kaboom. You, the console gamer, will lose in this proposition because without steady and competitive growth out of the console market, or within the console market by Microsoft, third-party devs and publishers will be less likely to support the platform. Okay, so what is MM2K saying by this, all right? Am I saying that Microsoft is not going to make any more consoles ever? No, I don't believe that for a second. But what I'm saying is, and hear me out, imagine yourself being a third party dev. You want to market your product, and you're looking at all the console makers, and they all have high saturation rates, except for Microsoft. So you got to make a decision. Do I even put my console game? on Microsoft's platform, or do I just sell it on Windows because they're pushing Windows heavy? You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about that as a third party dev. So what I'm saying is, when you have situations like Space Hulk Deathwing, a game that is fit and prime for the Xbox brass, okay? It's a sci-fi shooter, it's dope, it puts you in the mind of a Bioshock on a spaceship, right? Very dope game, I went and got it for PC. When you have a game like that that was slated to come out on both PlayStation and Xbox on May 22nd, but it only comes out on PlayStation 4 on that date and no sign of the Xbox version, you gotta think to yourself, are these third-party developers pulling back support because of the poor 
console support and marketing strategy by Xbox. And if you're a PC gamer like myself that happens to have a console, it makes you no difference. But the majority of Xbox gamers just have the Xbox console, and therefore, you're not going to have access to Death, uh, uh, Space Hulk Deathwing like your boy MM2K. So don't fall for the smoke and mirrors. Don't fall for the BS that Phil Spencer's giving you at E3. We're being over flooded with, with Japanese support. But then you look at Square Enix's conference. And <laughs> damn well 90% of what they show. They coming to the Xbox. Do not fall for those smoke and mirrors. You know what I'm saying? Understand this. It is your job. Not to make excuses for them. And not to just have blind faith. It is your job to make sure. That you put them to task and make sure that they're giving you your bang for your dollar. Do not let up. Until we see this innovation in our hands, they should feel the fire under their feet. And don't let nobody shame you into putting the Microsoft and Xbox and particularly feel the task for making sure that they give you the product they're supposed to get. And that's it from your boy MM2K. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. You know, and if you like what you heard, you know where to find me. I'm on the corner of every boulevard. Check out the links below to follow me. Yo, I do a show with your boy TRS. It's called Scram Punks. You know what I'm saying? We drop it every Wednesday. And we're also on iTunes. Look for Scram Punks, all one word. And last but not least, support my brethren, the Broadband Bullies. We are doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Check out that Patreon link, that Discord link. Check out the Garrett's Fly, everything. You know what I'm saying? And yo, as always, you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day.